welcome to this video covering dimensioning in the enhanced GC preview product. Dimensions can be added to any layer that is currently in the edit mode. Uh, one option would be to add it to the existing layer. Uh, also you can create a new layer and simply add the dimensions to that layer. Let's place this layer in view mode. So now the data will be added to this new data layer. Dimensioning is a pretty straightforward function. Uh, here is our add drawings. You can also find it under the edit create dimension. Uh, there are two options. Uh, there will be another video covering markup. Uh, but in this one we'll just look at dimensioning. So add the dimension option obviously. Uh, you can define a bunch of fonts. Uh, we'll just stick with Arial here. And also define the height. Um, of the text and then the line width um, and arrow length uh, of the dimensions line. Uh, so we simply just click OK once those values are satisfactory. And then we can see here we currently in the same way that our measure function works, uh, no measure objects defined right now. So let me just define first object there, second object there. And you can see now that the dimension uh, in our current units here of, of inches is kind of displayed and now we can drag that dimension to wherever we want um, with a simple left click we can add that uh, you'll also notice by uh, default it defines the, uh, the center to center you can also just switch using this um, radio button here to the edge to edge or the center to center etc so uh, let's just go back to center to center and we can add that information um, right there obviously works for the next two features we can click and move that wherever we would wish it to be uh, the third option is also obviously a um, measurement between uh, two objects that are not horizontal or vertical uh, you can see that now we separate that distance now with the uh, the actual dimension between the two features center to center now if you want the horizontal or the vertical uh, use the either up arrow key if I click the up arrow key, it gives me the vertical distance between those two features. And if I select the right arrow key on my keyboard, it gives me the horizontal distance between those features. And obviously when I release uh, either of those buttons, it will go back to the actual dimension between the two. So let's put the horizontal distance in here, and we can just left click to select that. Once we're out of uh, finished with all our dimensions, we can escape out of that mode. And now you can see that once I unselect everything, we've got those dimensions um, present uh, on the on the new layer here, this uh, this yellow layer. Now, if I make a mistake for whatever reason or, or, or realize I've dimensioned the wrong information, uh, the nice thing with this enhanced preview is you can select the uh, the dimension that you're, you you don't like, um, and then under the edit delete menu, it will delete that added dimension. Um, nice thing also about that is the uh, deletion only applies to the added dimensions. So like the regular GC preview, you can't delete any information on your uh, original Gerber data. So as you can see, I've got some other features on that layer selected, put to delete, and that information still remains on the layer. Thanks for your time. Any questions, please contact support at graphico.com and we'll be happy to answer any further questions.